بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم شاترین سواتی از ہیئر فرام بایو سائنسز وتھ شاترین سواتی اینڈ ویلکم ٹو مائی چینل اینڈ آئی ایم تھینکفل ٹو آل آف یو فار واچنگ اینڈ گونگ می دا فیڈ بیک بیکاز اف یو آر گونگ می دا فیڈ بیک اٹ پروموٹ می ٹو ڈو گڈ اینڈ گڈ اینڈ گڈ سو ایز وی ہیو ڈسکس the topics from my animal series and I delivered uh, almost two lectures uh, upon four phylums of the invertebrates phylum nidaria phylum porifera and now um, I will discuss about the phylum uh, arthropoda in this lecture and I will try my best to cover phylum mollusca and you must watch all my lectures uh, about the invertebrates from porifera to nidaria and then pretihelminthes and eschelminthes and i discuss all these things step by step and you can see you can observe that the organism become complex and complex step by step uh, you see the simplest one uh, porifera then do, you can see the nidarians and then uh, platyal methes eschal methes and now uh, today i will discuss about the phylum arthropoda so before discussing uh, i have a very humble request to all of you kindly subscribe to my channel like my videos and share my videos if you're sharing my videos my lectures you are sharing the knowledge so keep watching and keep sharing knowledge with other so now i'm going to start my lecture about the phylum arthropods arthropods you can see here different uh, photos of arthropods and you can observe in Uh, in your uh, environment in your surrounding different types of arthropods in daily routine in houses and in many other uh, places so phylum arthropoda this is the first largest uh, phylum uh, you can say there are a group of animals which covering the earth this is the first one largest one so word arthropoda derived from the two words arthropoda arthro means jointed and the poda means poda is a pods derived from the pods means foot so these organisms are joint footed animals because the name indicated that arthro jointed and pods feet so these are the joint footed animals and i will show you in the figure in my next slide habitat they are free living as well as parasites and also they are present in the uh, they are found on earth as well as in on in water all type of habitat uh, is occupied by these arthropods so the very advanced character first one first advanced characteristics of the phylum arthropoda is jointed foot second one they have bilateral symmetry and bilateral symmetry what what sort of symmetry in which the body of the living organism divided into two equal parts in just one plan because they have um, pointed bodies they have head and they have uh mouth and and then anus so body is well developed segmented they are coelomate but the coelom here is reduced and the this sort of coelom is called hemocoel or hemocoelom what, what is the reason because the body of the cavity the coelom of these organism is connected with the blood vascular system and i will show you how the other most important characteristic is they are triploblastic animals means uh, their body consists of three terminal layers developed at the embryonic stage uh, like ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm the most important characteristic they are segmented they have segmented bodies 
means their body is divided into head, thorax and abdomen. You must compare all these characteristics with the uh, phylum porifera, then nidarians and then platyhelminthes, eschelminthes. You can see, you can, uh, you, you observe that these organisms develop advanced characteristics. They are more advanced than all the other four phylums. Is it clear? Now, they have several pairs of appendages. Appendages mean for their feet. You have uh, seen that I, I told you that they are, uh, they are jointed foot, are jointed feet organisms. So they have several pairs of appendages. Appendages related to their uh, legs and their foot and feet, and many more. Now the body system, digestive system, well developed. You will see step by step. Circulatory system, I will show you. And the excretory system consists of the malvigian tubules. I will show you. Now I am moving towards the first body structure of the arthropods and you can see here uh, this is the grasshopper and you can see the body is divided into three segments this is the abdomen region this is the thorax region and this is the head region so the body is divided into how many parts three parts three segments Abdomen, thorax, and head. Is it clear? Mouse is present in the head. And the anus is present in the abdomen region. You can see the wings. Clear wings. You can see the jointed feet. These uh, appendages. These are also known as appendages. And these appendages, these feet present in pairs form. You can see here the antennas. Is it clear? Now, here you can see the small pores are present in the abdominal region. These are known as spiracles. These spiracles use for the exchange of the gases uh, during respiration. Means oxygen in, carbon dioxide out. For this mechanism, they use spiracles. Now I'm moving towards the next slide. As you can see here, the body divided into head, thorax and um, abdomen region. Now here I will show you its uh, different system of uh, all uh, the arthropods. You can see here the anus, then digestive system and heart. This is the heart. I will show you step by step and the arteries, dorsal arteries developed from that, the digestive system, is it clear? Nerve cords means these are the tube-like structures which are known as malpigian tubules, malpigian tubules, the malpigian tubules, this is the excretory uh, organ of the arthropod. Malpigian tubules, Malpigian tubules, Malpigian tubules, you can pronounce it as you wish. So, first of all, I will uh, share with you the digestive system. This is the digestive system. You can see here the digestive system consists of many parts. First of all, the, the this is the salivary gland, like in the human and other mammals, salivary glands which uh, release saliva, but they are not true the sal uh, salivary glands like in the human and mammals present. But some sort of salivary glands, you can see here the pharynx and then the esophagus, is it clear? Pharynx, esophagus, his mouth is present, then the pharynx, esophagus and this region is known as crop. This is the crop, like in a mammal, stomach is present, here crop is present. And this is the gizzard region. 
gizzard region for storage of the food material and you can see here these thread like tube like structures which are known as malpighian tubules but this is the excretory system and ilium colon and rectum so this is the elementary canal or digestive system or arthropod which is complete and well developed advanced as compared to the platyal menthes and ascalmenthes is it clear now i'm moving towards the circulatory and nervous system you can observe here the both system this is the so first of all i will discuss the nervous system nervous system it consists of the brain like structure means ganglia ganglions ganglia are present here and from these ganglia you can see here the ventral nerve cords arises for the messaging for the uh, coordination this is the simplest but more advanced than platyal menthes and uh, ascalmenthes the ganglia more developed nerve cord more developed now the circulatory system you can see here the heart heart is like that and consist of uh, sometimes eight chambers sometimes more than eight chambers and cockroach eight chambers and in many other species uh, sometimes more than eight and sometimes less than eight so chambered heart is present but the circulatory system of the arthropod must keep it in your mind that this is the open type circulatory system and what is the open type and what is the closed type i am giving you a concept about the open type and closed type circulatory system must keep it in your mind the open circulatory system consists of heart and the from the heart blood flow directly into the body cavity but in case of the closed type circulatory system in closed type circulatory system, what will happen the blood move through the from the heart to blood vessels is it clear in case of the open circulatory system the blood from the heart directly pour into the coelom or body cavity but in case of the closed circulatory system the blood closed mean close blood uh, do not in contact directly with the coelom the blood move through the blood vessels from uh, heart to the blood vessels is it clear like in human all mammals they have all have closed type blood circulatory system because our blood move from the heart to blood vessels and from blood vessel back to the heart this is closed type but in arthropod there is an open type circulatory system now the concept is clear which sort of the blood circulatory system is present in the arthropods this is open type because the blood from the heart directly pour into the body cavity and baths all the parts of the uh, body cavity is it clear now now the nervous system is clear circulatory system is clear now i'm going towards the next slide about the excretory system you can see here in excre the excretory system of the arthropod consist of malpighian tubules malpighian tubules malpighian tubules you can call it so pronounce it in any way as you feel easy malpighian tubules malpighian tubules these are the tubule like structure you can see here and these tubule like structures absorb the extra uh, waste material from the body and then uh, excrete it out from the body like in case of the platyal menthes and uh ascalmenthes you saw that uh, at that time in previous lecture i showed you that uh, phlegm cells and protonephridial like structure present but in this case malpighian tubules are present and you can see here very clear diagram of these tubules which collect the uh, material from the body cavity and then excrete it out so this is the excretory system of the arthropods is it clear now
Now I'm moving towards the respiratory system. Now the respiratory system in this in these arthropods consists of the trachea. Uh, no lungs like structure is present, but trachea like structure is present. Air sacs are present, tracheoles are present. You can see step by step. These are the trachea. These are the spiracles. Spiracles use these are the pores. Spiracles are the pores, and through these pores, air exchange between the organism and the outer environment. And the trachea used for the mixing of the oxygen with the blood. As they are open type circulatory system animals, so mixing of the oxygen with the blood is easy and expelling out of the uh, carbon dioxide from the blood through the spiracle is very easy. Because they uh, use their abdomen, abdominal movement for the exchange of gases through spiracles. Is it clear now? So the respiratory system consists of trachea. But in most cases, uh, you will see a uh, word is used as book lungs. Book lungs. Lungs-like structure. In uh, some species, a trachea word used and in some is book lung. But don't be confused. Both are the same things. They are not true lungs. They are trachea. Okay. Now the concept is clear. Now, I am going to discuss a most important mechanism which occur in the uh, life history of the meta uh, arthropods. This is metamorphosis. Uh, here I, uh, I will discuss about the reproduction or reproductive system of the arthropods. Well, very well developed arthro uh, reproductive system in arthropods. Uh, special gonad cells are present which releases the egg and sperm and uh, there is a proper mechanism of the fertilization and then the uh, development of the organism. So all these changes are known as metamorphosis. The changes in form that occur as an insect approaches adulthood. When the immature insect and the adults are similar in appearance, the process is called uh, simple metamorphosis so metamorph meta later the word is used for later morphos morphosis changes forms changes so meta changes later changes occur as you can see here first egg fuses with the sperm and then uh, as i go and then it develop into the larva and larva develop into the pupa and pupa develop into the uh, adult you can see the ladybird, ladybird mean uh, adult ladybird. So different stages, you can see here different stages uh, in the growth and development of the arthropods and these development stages relate to metamorphosis, meta change morphous form, change in the forms of uh, organism at different stages of growth and development. This is the metamorphosis. Now there are two types of metamorphosis. One is complete and other is incomplete. The complete metamorphosis, you can see here, the first the uh, egg and sperm, egg, egg word is used, but egg, uh, this is fertilized egg. So this fertilized egg developed into the larva and the larva developed into the pupa and pupa developed into the adult butterfly. This is the complete metamorphosis. Now I will compare it with the incomplete metamorphosis. As you can see here, this is incomplete. In this uh, uh, figure, you can see it, the pupa stage, larva, then pupa, and then adult. The larval stage and the pupal stage is a little bit confused here. No pupal stage is present, just the larva, in which is known as nymph which develop into the later stage nymph and then it develop into the adult. So here you can see the difference between the complete and incomplete. The st pupa stage is absent and there's just a one stage larva stage which is known as nymph stage and this nymph develop into the uh, first primary nymph and then secondary nymph and then secondary nymph develop into the uh, adult 
arthropod so this is the concept about the metamorphosis meta later changes morpha forms so you can see here the changes at different stages of growth and development of the arthropods now the concept is clear and i have given you the concept of reproduction reproduction is uh, complete reproduction and they have uh, unisexual as well as bisexual uh, organ uh, uh, members and, and they are also hermaphrodite and they are also unisexual means male and female partners are separate and uh, these male and female produces the egg and sperm and then undergo the f fertilization and then you can see here the uh, different stages uh, development stages this is the metamorphosis now the concept is clear about digestive system excretory system respiratory system circulatory system which type of circulatory system is present which type of the excretory system is present which type of um, digestive system is present and you observe you can observe here the arthropods are more complex than the ascalmenthes and uh, platyhelminthes so i hope uh, the lecture will be clear upon you people inshallah and if you have any question you can ask me and i will try my best to clear your concept so thank you very much allah hafiz i will be back with the new phylum uh, that is phylum laska in my next lecture inshallah i will discuss so allah hafiz